Hi, I'm Tracy Christensen, and this is Community Connection. Researchers tell us that Utah has more people with an ancestry from the British Isles than any other state in the Union. If you're one of those people, or if you love scenes of the beautiful English, English landscapes, you'll not want to miss the exhibit at the Utah Museum of Fine Arts. Gretchen Dietrich, the executive director, is here to tell us about the British passion for landscape. Welcome, Gretchen. Hey, Tracy. Thank you. Yeah, what is this exhibit? So this exhibition is really exciting and really special. There are only four venues in the United States that have been given the opportunity to share this exhibition with their communities. We're the only one in the Western United States. It leaves us and goes to Princeton University, so we're really excited to host this exhibition, um, opening on August 29th and, and on view at the UMFA up at the University of Utah's campus until December 13th, I think I'm right about that. Um, you can check our website. Yeah. Um, but this is an exhibition of 63 works of art, really exceptional, world-class works of art by famous artists, all exploring the tradition of the British landscape. So tracing that from the 18th century right up to the contemporary times and today. Mm -hmm. um, works of art by people like Claude Monet. So it's not just Brits, but also people who were painting and working in Britain. Mm -hmm. um, of course, Turner, the great, great um, landscape artist of the British Isles. Um, John Constable has worked there, um, Thomas Gainsborough. Just really incredible objects that we are so excited to be bringing to our community. That's wonderful. Yep. That's a great opportunity for the museum and all of us. Yep. And do you think it will really connect with the people of Utah because of so much? I think so. Tides? I mean, I think, I mean, look, great art is great art. And no matter right. who you are, where you come from, or what language you speak in your home, um, great art is something that people should share with each other. I obviously believe that. Yes. That's why I do what I do. But um, but we did recognize and think to ourselves, hmm, a lot of, a lot of us here in Utah uh, do come from um, heritage that is from the British Isles. Um, this exhibition is from the, all of the art is coming from the collection of the National Museum Wales, but it's not just Welsh art, it's Scottish and British and Welsh and even some Irish art, I think, too. Um, but we also love the landscape connection yeah. because in Utah we're sort of obsessed with our landscape. It's exceptionally beautiful and rich and important. Um, our, many of our contemporary artists in Utah today are very much people who are working in the tradition of landscape that was essentially begun by some of these artists that we're bringing to the UM. MFA. So we loved that connection to looking at our natural, our world and the nat our lives in the natural world, and also sort of the connection to industry and how we mm -hmm. support and think about the land and how it supports industry. It was a very much a big issue, and you can trace that in this in this, the story of this exhibition. But that's also a relevant issue here, I think, for us in Utah as well. So lots of connections. Like you say, it's not every day that you can see a work of art by some of these famous totally artists. Totally like, incredible. Right? Yeah, it's going to be incredible. And how do you recommend that families and and museum goers really get the most out of their experience. I, I absolutely encourage people to bring their families. What greater gift could you give your child than to stand in front of a painting by Claude Monet and talk about it with him or her? That's important, and I think that great art does that. It elevates us and lifts us up to different places to have different conversations. Um, and I think I, I do hear often from people with anxiety about children in the art museum in particular. It is true that you can't touch the art. It's very fragile and we will prevent you from doing that. Um, so it's, it's not a children's museum, it's not a hands-on museum in that way, but we've worked really hard to make sure that there are spaces in the, our museum for you to relax, for your kids to sort of relax and stretch and shake their bodies, and there will be hands-on materials and things for them to touch in other exhibition spaces, just not in that exhibition. Um, so we've been thinking about that, and the art museum is absolutely a place for everyone, um, so we hope everyone will come and see this exhibition. It's really a once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you for bringing it to us. And Thank remind you. us of your website. So it's, it's www.umfa.utah.edu. Excellent. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Thank you, Tracy. To learn more about the exhibits at the Utah Museum of Fine Arts, as well as the other organizations featured here on Community Connection, please visit our webpage, kbyu11.org. Thanks for being with us, and please join us next time on Community Connection.